Today, we're diving into something that's shocking. 1% of people don't know that a certain type of drink is linked to not one, but six different types of cancer. It's something many of us enjoy on a regular basis without thinking twice, and it could be putting our health at serious risk. You don't want to miss this, so let's get into it. Alcohol, whether it's beer, wine, or spirits, is a big part of social gatherings, celebrations, and sometimes just a way to unwind. But what most people don't realize is that alcohol is a known carcinogen, meaning it has the potential to cause cancer. And research shows that regular alcohol consumption is linked to six different types of cancer. The scary part? Over half of the population doesn't know this. So, how does alcohol actually increase cancer risk? When you drink alcohol, your body breaks it down into a toxic compound called acetaldehyde. This compound damages DNA and prevents your cells from repairing themselves properly, leading to mutations that can cause cancer. Alcohol also leads to inflammation, disrupts hormone balance, and can weaken the immune system, all of which contribute to an increased risk of cancer. Let's break down the six types of cancer that are most closely linked to alcohol consumption. Number one, throat cancer. Alcohol irritates the cells lining your mouth, throat, and esophagus, making them more vulnerable to carcinogens. Number two, liver cancer. Chronic alcohol consumption can lead to liver damage, inflammation, and cirrhosis, which greatly increases the risk of liver cancer. Number three, breast cancer. Studies have shown that alcohol raises estrogen levels, increasing the risk of breast cancer, particularly in women. Number four, colorectal cancer. Alcohol can promote changes in the colon and rectum, which can increase the risk of cancer in these areas. Number five, pancreatic cancer. Drinking alcohol regularly increases the risk of inflammation in the pancreas, a key factor in pancreatic cancer. And finally, number six, stomach cancer. Alcohol can damage the stomach lining, leading to ulcers and over time, an increased risk of stomach cancer. The shocking thing is, Many people are still unaware of these risks. According to surveys, 51% of people don't know that alcohol is a major factor in cancer development. While the focus is often on the immediate effects of drinking, like hangovers or liver damage, the long-term risks, especially cancer, are often overlooked. And it doesn't matter if it's beer, wine, or liquor, any type of alcohol can increase your cancer risk if consumed regularly or in large amounts. So how much alcohol is considered safe? While no amount of alcohol is completely without risk, health guidelines suggest that men limit their intake to no more than two drinks per day and women to one drink per day. Even at these levels, the risk of cancer doesn't disappear but it's significantly lower than for heavy drinkers. But here's the thing, even moderate drinking carries some risk. The more you drink and the longer you've been drinking, the higher your chances of developing cancer. The good news, you can reduce your risk. Cutting back on alcohol or cutting it out completely can significantly lower your chances of developing these cancers. Consider alternatives like sparkling water, non-alcoholic cocktails, or simply setting limits for yourself when you're out. If you're finding it hard to cut back, there are resources out there that can help you manage your drinking habits in a healthy way. Alcohol is such a big part of many cultures, but it's important to know the risks that come with it, especially when it comes to cancer. With more than half of the population unaware of these dangers, it's time to spread the word and make informed decisions about our drinking habits. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, 
subscribe for more content like this, and share it with someone who might benefit from knowing the facts. Let me know in the comments, did this change your view on alcohol? Are you thinking of cutting back? Stay healthy, stay informed, and I'll see you in the next video.